Today, I have a super simple and cute Easter cinnamon roll recipe. These are the ingredients that you will need to make both bunnies and bird's nest cinnamon rolls. First, I'm going to be showing you how to make the bunnies. And for those, you only need two ingredients. You'll need prepackaged cinnamon rolls in a can, as well as some M&M Easter candies. Start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. To make the bunny ears, start unrolling the cinnamon roll and folding it over to make a loop that will be one of your ears, and then you will unravel more and make the second ear. You will want to squeeze the bottom of the bunny ears a little bit so they hold their shape as they are baking in the oven. You can make your bunny ears as big or as little as you want, but keep in mind that they will rise and expand while baking. Once you form all your bunnies and your oven is preheated, they're ready to bake. You're going to bake at 350 for 20 minutes or until golden and cooked through. Once baked, you can let them cool for a couple of minutes. When you're waiting for them to cool, you can heat up your icing in the microwave so it's easier to drizzle over your cinnamon rolls. Heat for about 20 seconds or until it comes off easily on a spoon. Now you can drizzle as much or as little icing as you'd like onto your bunnies. You'll just want to make sure it's enough that your M&Ms will stick to it. Before your icing dries, you're going to want to add your M&Ms, just two for the eyes and one for the nose. I had some pink sprinkles on hand that I thought would be perfect for the ears. Now this is an optional step, but it does make your bunnies look that much cuter. Now. On to the bird's nest cinnamon rolls. These are so cute and just as simple as the bunnies. All you will need is prepackaged cinnamon rolls, cocoa powder, shredded coconut, and Easter peanut butter M&Ms. You will leave these cinnamon rolls in their normal shape and bake according to your package directions. Mine were 350 for 20 minutes. While those are baking, you can mix your one and a half teaspoons of cocoa powder and three quarter cups of shredded coconut. Once your cinnamon rolls are done baking, let cool for a couple minutes and then you can add your frosting. Apply your frosting generously because you want your shredded coconut mixture to have something to stick to. Now sprinkle on your coconut mixture. I used about an eighth of a cup on each cinnamon roll. Then to top it off, you're going to add a few of the peanut butter M&Ms and your bird's nest cinnamon rolls are complete. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Thank you for watching.